everything you didn't know about Kevin Spacey. Unless you've been living on a remote island with no access to the internet or other people, then you'll know that Kevin Spacey is currently having one of the biggest falls from grace the world has ever seen. The once highly regarded Hollywood actor was in court this week to face charges of sexual assault, and it won't be the last time he appears in front of the magistrates either. Despite pleading not guilty, Spacey has gone from hero to zero in a hot minute. Join us as we take a look at everything you didn't know about Kevin Kevin Spacey, from details about his private life to lesser-known facts about his court cases. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos about your favorite movies and TV shows. It wasn't always bad. Kevin Spacey has been a Hollywood institution for decades, and before his current scandal, he was a pretty well-respected actor. In 2000, Spacey starred alongside child sensation Haley Joel Osment and Helen Hunt in the moderately successful drama Pay It Forward. The premise of the movie centered around doing good deeds for other people, something that Spacey himself was a dab hand at for the majority of his career, allegations notwithstanding. Although the actor kept his cards pretty close to his chest, preferring to keep his private life private, he was public about his charity work. Kev was well known for offering young actors opportunities through his production company Trigger Street and also helped those trying to break into the industry through the Kevin Spacey Foundation. He didn't just operate in America either, branching out to the UK where he was director of the famous Old Vic for over a decade. Spacey had hopes that his work would help give budding actors the chances that they might not get otherwise. But it looks like that's all gone to hell now too. Val's Pal Every actor has their inspirations, and Kevin is no different. When trying to break into the industry himself, he became friendly with Hollywood icon Jack Lemmon, who helped him by introducing him to some important people. Without Lemmon, Spacey may have never become a household name, and then what would the tabloids do? The actor was so thankful for Lemmon's help that he dedicated his Oscar for Best Actor in American Beauty to him. But unbeknownst to Kevin growing up, he was always rubbing shoulders with the best of the best. He attended Chatsworth High School in San Fernando Valley, Los Angeles, alongside Val Kilmer. Neither knew it at the time, but both were destined to be famous. The two acted in amateur productions together and bonded over their love of acting, with Val encouraging Kevin to audition for the famous Juilliard School in New York City. Spacey got accepted and stayed for two years before dropping out and pursuing acting in his own way. It goes without saying that the two probably aren't as tight these days, with Val striking his old pal Kev off of the Christmas card list he was forced to come out. The 59-year-old actor has always had speculation around his private life, even prior to the current unfolding events. While he chose to keep his private life under wraps, it only fuels the rumor mill. Most of us sort of guessed that Spacey was gay, but he didn't confirm it until the first sexual misconduct allegations surfaced in 2017. Whenever he was asked about it prior to this, he would always evade the question. It wasn't until he issued an apology following on from the claim made by actor Anthony Rapp that he addressed his sexuality head-on. Spacey explains that those closest to him knew that he had been in relationships with both men and women over the course of his life, but was currently living as a gay man. I want to deal with this openly and honestly, wrote the actor. And that starts with examining my own behavior. Shortly after he issued the apology, one magazine published pictures of the House of Cards star spending an afternoon with a male friend in a park, calling them the images that Kevin Spacey doesn't want you to see. The apology was met with even more controversy, as some accused the star of trying to shift the spotlight from the allegations. Andy Cohen tried to out him first. Talk show host and Bravo TV sleuth Andy Cohen is one of the entertainment industry's most famous gay men. Back in 2014, Cohen released his memoirs, The Andy Cohen Diaries. While it was mainly filled with tidbits about his own life, Andy threw in the odd part about other famous people too. And Spacey 
was one of them. He referred to the actor by name, specifically discussing a 2000 interview in which Kevin vehemently denied he was gay and said he had been in a committed relationship with an unnamed woman for years. I still get enraged when I think about him talking about being in love with that woman on 60 Minutes, Cohen wrote. Come out, sir. Andy didn't stop there either, going on to recall a time when he ran into Spacey at the US Open in 2013. He was in front of us with what looked like a face full of makeup and three male companions who were definitely raising questions, explained the Real Housewives host. It's not clear if Spacey ever read the book, Let's face it, he probably didn't, but given how precious he is about his private life, it's unlikely he'd appreciate being outed by someone else. Anthony Rapp spoke out previously. Although it may seem like a very recent thing to the world at large, which it is, Spacey's first accuser, Anthony Rapp, began telling people of his experience as far back as 1990. In a 2001 interview, he told the entire story but chose not to name the actor. He was left shaken and disturbed by the incident that occurred in Spacey's hotel room when Rapp was 14. Working on the theater circuit, it wasn't uncommon for the youngster to go to parties and events held by older members of the cast. So, when Spacey invited him to a small gathering, he wasn't phased. According to Rapp, after everyone left, the 26-year-old Broadway actor lay down on top of him drunk. Although Spacey didn't stop him from leaving, Rapp said it was a traumatizing event that left him scarred and shaken. Despite not officially reporting the incident until 2017, Rapp had told numerous people about it, including actor Aaron Quill of the Tony Award-winning musical Avenue Q. Initially, he only told those closest to him, but he soon began talking openly about the incident as he saw Spacey's career go from strength to strength. At a 1995 Oscars party he attended, Rapp told the entire room his story as Spacey appeared on the screen to accept the Best Supporting Actor trophy for his role in The Usual Suspects. He's BFFs with Bill Clinton. This one is quite the shocker, but it's true. Kevin first met Bill Clinton before he entered the White House and described him as a shining light. Much like his House of Cards character, Spacey has an avid interest in politics and is mostly liberal. He hit it off so much with Bill that the president even invited him to star in the short film President Clinton Final Days, a light-hearted political satire produced by his administration for the White House Correspondents' Dinner. It looks as though Bill is keeping his distance from the actor these days, though, most likely to protect his own reputation. As well as rubbing shoulders with the former Prez, Spacey often engages in other political affairs. In March 2011, he joined fellow actor Jude Law on the streets of London to protest against Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko and has previously traveled to meet Venezuelan President Hugo Chavez. He's lost everything. At the pinnacle of his career, Kevin Spacey was the one to beat in Hollywood. Even now, despite all of the allegations made against him, no one can deny that he is an incredible actor. After Rap came forward with his story, dozens more people filed their own allegations against the star. All of his projects, including the long-running award-winning House of Cards series of which he is also an executive producer of, cut ties with him. His role on All the Money in the World was recast at the last second, with all of his scenes being reshot. Netflix severed their relationship with him, stopping the release of his biopic, Gore. The International Academy of Television Arts and Sciences had previously plans to honor the actor with the 2017 International Emmy Founders Award, and they took that back at a moment's notice. Everything that Spacey worked so hard to achieve was gone in an instant. It just goes to show that no matter how famous you are, if you don't treat people with the respect they deserve, it can all be taken back. Racism Accusations the media reports lately have focused largely on Spacey's sexual misconduct cases, but not long after the first accu but not long after the first accuser spoke out, reports of racism started to surface too. In January 2018, Earl Blue, the head of the security firm hired to work on House of Cards, told the media that Spacey refused to acknowledge him and any other black members of staff. What's more, Spacey reportedly used the N-word when referencing the employees. Saying 
saying that he didn't want any people of color to watch his trailer. According to Blue, he didn't come forward sooner, the incident reportedly happened four years prior, because of confidentiality reasons. The former naval officer went on to suggest the contract with his security firm was not renewed because of Spacey, despite being praised for their services throughout the duration. A production manager reportedly told Blue that the reason for their dismissal was down to Spacey's refusal to have any black security guards on his set. Ian Patterson, a producer on the show, rebukes the claims of the VIP Protective Services, saying that the service was unsatisfactory, and that was the only reason why they were replaced. Spacey remained tight-lipped on this particular subject, and has since spent his time focusing on fighting the barrage of other cases against him. Thank you very much for watching today's video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more amazing content, and don't forget to check out one of the other two videos on your screen.